going to show you an amazing seed where you can find a lot of cool stuff. In this video, there will be time codes by which you can find certain items you need. And let's get started. First, let's create a world. You can see the world on the screen, and it will also be in the description below the video. And now let's get into it. And the first item we will have is the Star Fury Sword. This sword is a good starting weapon, and also because of the particles it releases, it can be used in search of empty space underground. And let's start walking towards it. We need to go left. We need to go through the dungeon, and at the end of the desert after it, start climbing up. There will be a flying island in the chest of which we will find Star Fury. The next item is an enchanted sword, and here we are very lucky. We have as many as three places to get enchanted sword. This is a nice sword that has a sword-shaped particle. It's a good starting weapon. So we go after it. From the flying island we are on, you just need to go down and start digging for one of the two nearby caves. There is also another one a little further to the west, but you will find it yourself. The next one is the heart statue, a very useful thing when fighting bosses. This statue, if you connect it to a timer, will automatically give you a heart at regular intervals that will heal you 20 hearts, and you can connect up to five pieces to one network for efficient use. So let's go back to the beginning and go to the end of the second water source. And at this point, we start digging down. And we need to dig down to 182 height. And go back a little bit, and this place looks like this on the map. So we get our statue. And now, the next item is Aglet. This is an accessory that increases movement speed by 5%, and lightning boots are also crafted from it. To find it, go back to the very beginning, and go to the left. Go to the Crimson Biome, and continue on to the above ground cave. And there, we will see a chest with the item we need. The fifth item we have is the Celestial Magnet. This is an accessory that increases the range of picking up stars. It is also used to craft several other better accessories. So we return to the spawn, and go again to the left to the dungeon, and there go up to the Flying Island. And in this chest, we will see a necessary and useful Celestial Magnet. Next, we go looking for Feral Claws, an accessory that is very useful for melee, since it increases the attack speed by 12%, and it is also used to create more useful accessories. So let's go find it. From the point of spawn to the right, and reach the jungle biome, and And there, after four deep ponds at coordinates 3890 east, we start digging down to 260 height. And then we will see a chest. After opening it, we will see the feral claws we need. The next item is ice skates. It increases the speed of movement on ice, and is also a crafting material in the chain at the end of which we can get Terra Spark boots. Therefore, from the point of spawn, go left to the end of the desert biome, which is located immediately after the winter biome. And there, in the place where the first trees stand, we start digging. If you dig correctly, you should find yourself in the winter biome. And if we get to 386, we will find ourselves in an abandoned house where we will find ice skates. Shoe spikes is an accessory with which you can partially reduce the fall by catching on the wall. Also, if you combine it with climbing claws and get tiger climbing gear, you can cling to the wall and not roll off it. So let's go get it. From the spawn point, go left. And at the beginning of the first water, start digging down until you reach an abandoned house. Where you will find a chest with shoe spikes. Next is the shiny red balloon, an accessory that increases the height of the jump. It also combines with some other accessories. It's a very useful item. So let's go get it. From the point of spawn, we need to go to the right, to the first above ground cave that is on the other side. and then start digging up. And on the flying island, in the chest, we will find a shiny red balloon. Now we're going to get three things at once. Magic Conch, Extractinator, and Basque Statue. A little bit about them. Magic Conch is a shell that teleports you to one of the two ocean biomes when used. It is also needed to create a shell foam. Extractinator is an item that converts silt, slush, and desert fossils into more useful things like ore and bait. Bast Statue is an item that gives a permanent buff at five defense when you are near a statue. So let's go get it. To do this, go to the right from the spawn point. And after the first water source, we climb this hill and start digging down to the beginning of the trees, approximately at this point. 
We dig down to the first abandoned building in the desert and take everything we need from here. Anklet of the Wind is an accessory that gives a plus 10% to movement speed, and Aglet is needed to craft lightning boots, which will lead us to Terra Spark boots in the future. So let's get it. From the spawn point, go to the right to the end of the first deep reservoir in the jungle biome. And at its end, we start digging. Until you get to the marble biome. And after being in it, go a little to the left to find the jungle shrine in the chest of which we will find Anklet of the Wind. Magic Mirror is an accessory that can help you return to your spawning point or your home spawn point if you have one. It's a useful thing, so let's find it. From the spawn point, we go to the right and after we pass the desert. After that, move on and we will come across a strange mountain, right after which there will be a small cave and in the middle of it and the above ground cave, we will start digging down. Until we reach the golden chest. But be careful, there are explosives nearby. And there it is. Hermes boots, when worn, increase the player's movement speed and are also used to craft other boots. From the point of spawn, we need to go right to the first pond, or rather to its end. And it is at this point that you need to start digging. So let's get started. And here is the first chest in which we will find Hermes boots. Cloud in a bottle is an accessory that allows you to jump twice. It is used in crafting with other useful accessories. So let's find them. Go left or teleport to the left ocean biome. And we need this above ground cave. And this is how it looks on the map. On its right side, we start digging down until we reach an abandoned building, in the middle of which we will find a chest and in it we will find Cloud in a Bottle. Next we have Shimmer. It's a liquid that transforms things into other, sometimes more useful things. So let's find it. Go to the right to the end of the Crimson Biome. And at the end of it, we'll start digging down. dig until we see a pink glow. If you see it, you found it. Lava Charm is an item that gives you immunity from lava for 7 seconds. It is also used to craft other items that also give invulnerability. In order to get it, we need to go to the right from the spawn point to the big trees. And then we go back a little bit to this place, if you have a compass, it's 2200 east. And we start digging at this point. Here is the chest, but before you open it, break all the traps, and only then can you open the chest and take the lava charm. Golden key is a key that opens locked golden chests in the dungeon. In addition to being found in the chest, it also falls out of mobs in the dungeon. It is used one time, so let's get it. Go to the left, to the dungeon, wait for the knight, kill the boss, and then go down the dungeon as shown in the video. and open this chest. And already in it, we see the golden key that we will need later. The last one is Muramasa. This is a sword that is one of the best swords for the hard mode, also used to craft other swords. In order to get it from the dungeon entrance point, we go to 380 underground height. And in this chest, we will find Muramasa. Thank you for watching. I hope some of this is useful to you.